Hey, it's Danielle here in Seattle, also known as DMAC, former WNBA player. And today I wanted to make a video to give you another tip to use with the Agment scalping indicator. So in my last video, I talked about adding the stochastic. And there were certain settings that I used to help me identify where I want to enter a trade. Um, I know there were some people that reached out to me and said that they were experiencing the white arrows repainting. Now I still have not seen the white arrows repaint. So I'm not saying that they don't because I've had a couple of people that said they actually saw the white arrows repaint. So I just wanted to give you some tips that will help you with better entries without getting faked out and stuff like that. Um, you have to remember like to me, and this just is my opinion, trading is 80% patience so sometimes you just have to be patient and wait for that perfect setup I know um, sometimes if you see a signal you're excited and you're like oh I'm just gonna jump in well that may not be that may not always be the smartest thing to do but you definitely want to be patient and wait for that perfect setup so um, let me hop over here to the regular um, so this is the Agment forex scalping system i'm sorry i'm having trouble talking today so this is the agnes scalper um, for those of you who do not have the fso harmonic scanner um, you will not have this indicator at the bottom that's maxwell's equation it's a future predictor so it predicts the future price which is really nice so i own both of the systems I have the FSO harmonic scanner also the Agmet and so a light bulb just came on one day and said hey why don't you add this to the scalping indicator and I love it it's just like the perfect um, the perfect couple so yours may look a little bit different than this and I'm making this video to talk about the TDI indicator okay so as you can see down here this is the TDI indicator and because a lot of you will not be able to check the future price prediction uh, Maxwell's equation unfortunately I wanted to share with you another tip that will help you with better entries so this is something simple too. Like I said, the last video I talked about adding the stochastic. This time we're going to talk about adding the TDI indicator. And I found this little indicator and I actually like it because it actually tells you whether it's a strong sale, shows you what, what um, it's a downtrend or uptrend. And let me just, sorry, let me just flip through some of, um, see if it will change. And they're all showing like a strong, okay, so that one, see how it goes to medium sale because, you know, the trend is starting to go up a little bit. That's on the four hour, but on the one hour, you got a strong sale. The 30 minute, you got a strong sale. And the 15 minute, you got a strong sale. Now I'm using GJ. That's the chart I have open on the 15 minute. I actually scalped this this morning and made a quick 250 bucks. So. I wanted to show you guys you know how you know I chose to enter the trade all right so the signal is here if you have the system you know already that this is a warning signal it's telling you that hey this is about to reverse it's about to start heading down right and then you got the white confirmation arrow and you can see it was a clean trade now I it hit my TP and I was satisfied with that but this baby is still dropping so I'm just like man I should have held it a little bit longer but you don't want to be greedy because that will kill you um, <laughs> in trading it will kill you every time so I was satisfied with my profits I mean I've already I'm already up 250 for today so I can't really complain but anyway so you know I've mentioned before in my videos I love to look for signals around these um, these zones especially the dark 
solid black lines because they're the stronger zones. So, and I just recently learned that, you know, these lines are also quarter points. So I don't know if you guys are out there, you're familiar with the quarter point theory. I've heard about it. I don't know much about it, but I'm willing to assume that I'm probably trading it if I'm, you know, looking for signals around these areas. Um, so this is what caught my attention with GJ. You know, you got the reversal coming right there and then the white confirmation arrow. So when you look down here, and I'm going to show you how, you know, it plays out with a TDI indicator. So let's see here. So the first thing you want to do is you want to look for, they call it a shark fin. And I'm just going to place that right there. So they call that a shark fin. And as you can see, it was right before, you know, the warning signal came up. Let me move that line over so you guys can see the little shark fin. So right here, you see the little shark fin down here? So that's the first thing you want to look for. And then second, I mean, it's really simple once you learn how to... Um, read the indicator. I'm just going to move this to the right for a minute. So you're looking for this shark fin here. Like I said, it popped up right before the signal. So this is actually a little bit earlier than the agnet. And then the next thing you want to look for, you're looking for, you know, um, price to cross back over the Bollinger Bands. You see that right there? And then you also want it to cross below this red line. So that's a good confirmation for a sale. And if you move that, like I said, it cross back over the red line under the green, we'll say right there just to be on the safe side. And as you can see, that signal appeared before the white arrow. So if you were going according to the TDI, you knew up here it was going to reverse, it was heading down. Even though the white arrow hadn't appeared yet, according to this down here, now I'm not suggesting that you do this, but that would have been enough confirmation for me to enter um, because you got the shark fin, it came back in below the red line and it just pushed it down. And also, it's above the 50 level here, so that's what I forgot to keep in mind. It's above the 50, so I, I definitely could have held this trade longer, as you can see. Um, it's still dropping. So those are some of the things that you would be looking for if you want to add this to the Agment Scalper. So I'm just going to... Um, let me just delete this. I always have a hard time deleting it. There, there you go. Okay. So yeah, when it's above the 50, um, you, that can turn into a midterm trade for sure, or long long term. I don't. I wouldn't say long term, but midterm. So I exited this really early, but like I said, I did make 250 bucks. So I need to shut up talking about that. Um. <laughs> so let me just give you the breakdown here okay so it was the perfect sale signal for GJ you know so again these are the things that you want to look for if you want to add this indicator um, to your agment and if you don't have this indicator and you would like it connect with me on Facebook tell me hey I saw your video um, I think I like how that TDI works I'd like to add that to it. Can you send me the indicator and I will give it up. I will send it to you um, with no problems. So again, just a recap of what you are looking for on the TDI. So up here you already knew you got the signals and you got the signal. Then it was just a clean drop. But if you are leery of the arrows and you think, oh, they may repaint. Maybe they're going to move, so you're hesitant to enter a trade. Well, just come down here, look at the TDI indicator, 
and look for those couple of things you know look for the shark fin outside of the Bollinger Band there you go right there it's almost two and you can see it's like a double top and then second you know inside the band look for the green line to cross below the red and it just kept on pushing down so it's something that simple that can just give you that extra confirmation that you need to help you get better entries all right and then like I said anytime it's above the 50 um, you can expect a medium term trade like I said I exited this um, it was a quick scalp so I got out but I definitely could have held it longer because GJ is still dropping all right so again you know look for the shark fin outside the Bollinger Band and inside the band look for that green line to cross below the red one you know and of course it's going to be the opposite for um it's going to be the opposite for a buy let me just jump back over here and see if i can find one for you real quick um see there's another one here this cell here look how it went out the little shark fin boom came in wait for that to cross below that red line and look at that cell it's the same cell that dropped right there so let's see if I can find um so even though this one is right here it didn't really come out but you do have the red line um, the green line crossing above the red line so that is a signal for a buy so just remember it's the exact same but opposite of the buy and I was trying to see okay here's one here's an example for the buy all right so you got it here it's outside of the band and then it comes back in crosses above the red line so that's what you're looking for if you are looking to enter a buy and as you can see here, I don't even see a white arrow on this one. So um, that's where maybe it's right underneath that. Sometimes they appear almost exactly at the same time. So anyway, hopefully you guys found this information, this video helpful. <clears throat> Excuse me. And if you have any questions about it, yeah, just reach out to me. We can chat it up and see what you're still having problems with see what you need help with and yeah maybe you have some su suggestions for me um, I'm always open to learning new things too so this was my latest new discovery um, the TDI I really like it a lot um, yeah it's a good tool easy to read you just have to you know get used to it and know what you're looking for all right so if you guys are having problems with um, the arrows repainting and it's just not giving you that confidence to go ahead and enter a trade when you think you should enter, another good indicator to add would be the TDI indicator. All right. And for those of you who do not have this system and you're interested in improving your scalping or just your overall trading, if you would like to learn more about it, there will be a link below the video just click on that link it'll take you over to my website and you can learn more about the Agment trading system there and you can also purchase it um, from my website or you can purchase it through the direct link below this video as well all right so I hope everyone has a good trading week and I will see you guys in the next video